Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I have gotten a lot of questions from you asking if there is a way you can make vegan cultured butter and the answer is yes. I will show you both a regular vegan butter and cultured vegan butter and I'll also share with you what I use the butter for. Let's jump right in. The first thing you will need to do is culture some plant-based milk. I'm using homemade cashew milk, but you can use any milk you like. Just make sure that the milk is neutral in flavor and has low protein content. The reason I say low protein content is that milks with high protein content, such as soy milk, can easily curdle in combination with an acid. To culture the milk, I'm using probiotics. Make sure all your kitchen tools that come into contact with the milk are sterilized or at least washed with soap and hot water so you don't introduce any bad bacteria into the milk. Another important thing is not using any metal utensils as metal can react with the probiotics. Here I'm using a glass bowl and a wooden spoon. I like to stir the probiotics into just a tiny bit of milk first to create a thick mixture and then add the rest of the milk. This is because if you add the probiotics into the entire amount of milk, the probiotics just kind of float on top and don't mix properly with the milk. Let the milk culture on the kitchen counter for a few hours or until it reaches the tanginess you like. If you prefer regular butter as opposed to cultured butter, you can skip the culturing. When your milk is ready, whether it's cultured or not, add it to a blender together with some almond flour, nutritional yeast, salt and sunflower lecithin. The sunflower lecithin is optional but I like it because it increases the nutritional value of the butter and it keeps all the ingredients in emulsion. I have tried this recipe without sunflower lecithin and it works perfectly fine which is why I'm saying that it's an optional ingredient. Also, if you're not culturing the butter, I would recommend adding a little bit of coconut vinegar or apple cider vinegar to give the butter a little more complex flavor. Blend all the ingredients on high until the mixture is completely smooth without any grainy bits. The last ingredient is oil. I'm actually using two types of oil. Pure olive oil or avocado oil, either is fine, just make sure you're not using extra virgin olive oil if you want to use olive oil, and refined coconut oil. The word refined is really important here because if you use virgin coconut oil, your vegan butter will taste like coconuts. Make sure you add the coconut oil last and don't blend it too much. I talk about why the way you blend oils is important on my blog. I will leave a link to the article as well as the recipe in the description box below this video. Pour the butter into a mold or a glass container and put it in the fridge to solidify. And that's it. Vegan butter that not only looks like butter, but it also behaves like butter. It's solid at low temperatures, spreadable at room temperature, and melts at high temperatures. I don't actually eat a lot of butter, like spread on a piece of toast or a piece of bread. However, I cook and bake with this butter a lot. So I put it into mashed potatoes, cornbread, muffins, cakes, frosting, and Tana can never tell that it's not real butter. Mm -hmm. And I can't, <laughs> I would not know. Like if this was an AB and these were different butters, like a dairy butter versus this, I wouldn't be able to tell. The avocado oil, mm -hmm that's in there is very satiating. It creates that round, um, warm, expanding flavor on the palate. And that's what, exactly what I would look for in a normal um, 
dairy butter. I would want it to have that round satiating flavor and this has it more than enough. So if you have friends or family that are non-vegan and you're introducing them to different types of vegan dishes or substitutes, this is really convincing and I doubt that they would be able to tell the difference. I think you should try it. Even if you're watching this video and you're not a vegan, I think you should try this. This is really cool. I think it tastes great. It's maybe slightly lighter than dairy butter, slightly, very slightly lighter than dairy butter. It's got more of a, it doesn't feel as heavy going down as well. So it's really good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.